I know I wanted to say a few things, if I could, um, uh, about um, you know the recent uh, decision uh, by the Supreme Court. Um, appalling. Uh, the notion that uh, after nearly 50 years of precedent, uh, establishing a fundamental right for women to uh, have control over their bodies, um, have autonomy to make health care decisions um, be undermined uh, in this way is uh, appalling, it is reckless, and it shocks the conscience. And where does it stop? Where does it stop? We heard Justice Thomas talk about we should consider same-sex marriage again. We should consider contraception. Do we consider interracial marriages too? Where does the line stop? This is what we are confronted with right now. It is incumbent upon all folks out there who are feeling despair, who are dispirited by this decision, I am with you, to not give up. And make no mistake about it, here in New York, we are a safe harbor. We are a safe, a safe harbor. We will stand with Planned Parenthood. We will do all we can to support you. We got the warning. We got the warning, right? So when the opinion was leaked, we passed six, seven, eight different bills uh, making sure that we protect uh, those who are providing abortions, uh, providing causes of action against anybody who seeks to interfere um, with uh, a woman's right to choose, um, making sure we protect our health care providers, uh, putting more resources and investment dollars to make sure that those who are seeking safe harbor from outside of the state can come and make sure they can get safe and legal abortions. Uh, so we've laid down the groundwork here um, and have codified uh, Roe v. Wade. Uh, here in state law. Uh, I know we were talking about also doing a constitutional amendment uh, for an extra layer of protection, but make no mistake about it, we are on solid ground uh, right now in New York based on the laws that we have on the books. The key for us is to continue to be a voice, uh, to make sure that all women out there across the country know that we're here for them.